The Colts ended the season in ugly fashion, and since owner Jim Irsay has released this statement saying, quote, this was a rough way to end the year, but this bad taste will fuel and motivate us even more for next season. I promise you there are some exciting days to come. And with that loss, a lot of people are pointing their fingers at the quarterback Carson Wentz. So, Dan, I know this is tough for That's both of us, but person. we really do need to address the situation at hand. Do you think that Carson Wentz is the quarterback of the Colts' future? Yeah, absolutely. Carson Wentz proved to be a top 15 quarterback again this year. He played good football. They needed him to be great that last game, the last two games, and he wasn't great in those situations. But the Colts, he threw for 27 touchdowns and seven interceptions. <clears throat> It's the fourth time he's had that type of season in five years in the NFL. So if the Colts want to go try and chase down a great quarterback or a guy they believe is great, absolutely they could go do that. But if they're content on having a guy that's good and consistently year after year going to be a good player, Carson Wentz is their future. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so so good totally. would be satisfactory. Okay. Uh, Marcus, what do you say to that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to have a fight with my brother. I don't want to get this. We, we don't have a large amount of no, time. Scared Listen, of you. quarterbacks don't quarterbacks don't grow on trees. They ain't walking all over the street. But I think I took a lot. It was so loud that Frank Reich was noncommittal on this. And it was so loud to me that Jim Israel felt like he needed to come out and make a statement about where this team was. I told everybody before the season. Frank Reich is under immense amount of pressure because last year they were in the playoffs with Phillip Rivers, and they were a couple passes away from advancing to the next round. And I get it. Every year is not the same. Every team is not the same. But the expectations were for this team to be playing in the postseason. Mm -hmm. And they are going to have to come to a realization. This is what they're going to have to come to. Do we have a guy that, to your point, we will just be good with and okay? Because let, let me remind you all, this is the same franchise that fought to get over the hump while they had a Hall of Fame quarterback because the New England Patriots kept ripping them out of the playoffs. And then they couldn't get to the point where they needed to get to, and they kept making adjustments. So I know that's a part of Jim Israel thinking as far as where this team needs to be. He looks at it. He says, I have a great offensive line. I got a running back that's elite that's probably going to be a Hall of Fame if he continue on this trajectory. I do need to get better at the wide receiver spot, but I like Pittman. I like Pascal. I like, I like Mo Ali Cox. I like the guys that I have at those positions. But can you upgrade them? Yes. But I don't think that's they chop liver. I think that's a, a squad you can win with based on the offense that you play. You got a generational player at linebacker in Darius Leonard. So all things point to the Indianapolis coach, like Dan said, because I want to remind my brother that he said Carson Wentz would be in the MVP conversation before this season uh, started this year. Obviously, we know that that didn't take hold. So now you're looking at a team that's saying things just like well, the Los Angeles Rams are saying. So Is, do we like we we need to try to go out and get a Matthew Stafford type guy? Mm. Or do we need to check on Russell Wilson to see if he's genuinely happy or does he want to move? No, they ain't committed to Carson Wentz in the future. That's not they the are question. going to yeah, exhaust yeah. everything. Let, let me remind no, you. No, he shouldn't be the future. Let no. me re <laughs> let me remind you that his his last name is Ursay, not Isray. Like you reminded me that I would say well, Carson well, Wentz would be in the man. MVP conversation. I wasn't but here's say my it. thing. So they don't have a first round pick next year. That was traded for Carson Wentz. So you think that the best interest of the Colts is to move on from a quarterback that's a good player. Do you think he's a good player? Let me ask you ask you that. You think he's good? I think he's solid. That's so corny. So you think that I they should move on, TV. on from Come a good quarterback? I just was on TV. I was just on TV, Dan. Having a hard time trying to figure out who I want out of Baker Mayfield and Carson Wentz. I the, think both the of them solid. They ain't good to me. So you think that okay, moving I, on, uh, having a really good roster, to move on from a good quarterback that's not going to cost you a lot of money is, is a, a better option? Or, or that's the best option in regards to like – He might not cost you a lot like, of money, but he's going to cost you a chance to win the Super Bowl. I yeah, think that's I, the plan for them. And, I would and the think Colts that's have the, the seventh most cap space coming into this next season. Uh, but also, I just want to say one thing. Andrew Luck being on the sidelines of the national championship on Monday. Dudes. Ooh, man, that brought back some memories. Because you and... think there's only quarterbacks that are great or suck. There's, no, there's nowhere in between. No. Nope. They can't just He's be good solid. players. That's in between. Solid. You're okay. I don't. 
I don't think that. I don't think that. I think the I think the situation calls for you to determine what type of quarterback you need. If then I you got to do that for every quarterback, that I can win a. If you I got a roster all of them then. that I feel like I can win a Super Bowl with, then I'm gonna try to go I'm out not, and get yeah, a better I'm not quarterback because sure I know Wentz is that guy. probably gonna hold me back. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.